Hey guys, welcome back. So in my previous video, I repasted the um, graphics card, the Ming Zhao 5700 XT, and the temperatures dropped from 86 to 59 uh, degrees. So my next step is to undervolt this card and see if I can get more performance and better temps and lower wattage. So what we can see right now is temperatures around 59, call it 60. The wattage is around 190 and the frames will call it 140. So the mission is to get the frame rates higher, temps lower, and the wattage lower. Right, so I'm using the AMD um, application to do the undervolting, and I've, I'm not really that um, an expert in this area, but I gave it a go, and so I went to the performance tuning, and I saved my own profile, and I just imported it again now, and what I've done is I've set the frequency to 1775 and voltage at 0 0.9 um, millivolts I think it is um, or 8999 millivolts um, this keeps on changing I'm not sure I've saved it but it's not playing ball so let's increase that and apply that I increased the VRAM so I gave it another 100 I think it was at 17 so around 100 I gave it left the power limit as it is I need to fine tune this later but this is just for um, just to see if I can make it a little bit better so yeah let's get out of that put that down and let's see if that made a difference and we'll leave the game running for a few minutes so I'm going to forward it and we'll come back after say about five ten minutes and see if that's made a difference Right, so I'm back again. Um, I left the game running for about five minutes or so, so everything's all stabilised and the figures are not jumping around as much anymore. It didn't anyway, it was quite steady. But as you can see, temperature are now 54 and I think it was around 60 before. Um, the wattage is a lot lower, so it was um, around 190. Now we're only using around 150-ish, which is a big, um, it's a big, you know, big decrease. Um, so it's more power efficient and the frames it's gone down a bit so 137 I think we were hitting 140 last time so it's gone down a little bit but the temperature has fallen and we're using less power um, I think I can tweak it and get it even better because I can see the clock it's not hitting 1775 where I've set it at so I can increase that a little bit and see if that gives me a better performance but again I'm new to it but I just wanted to give you a um, kind of a visual on the performance of this card and it seems like it's, it is a decent card to be honest and it's running great haven't had any issues so again I wanted to say yeah this is a decent card so if you're looking for a card um, which is a good um, value card for performance this is a very good card I bought it for £150 um, and it's slightly better than the 2060 Super in terms of performance um, but while being cheaper but if you can find a card around that price locally then I would go ahead with that because obviously um, it's more reliable and it's in your hands you can see it working whereas you don't know what kind of card you're getting if you're getting it from AliExpress but yeah there you have it this is my kind of um, opinion and uh, my kind of findings that I've had maybe in the future I can change the thermal pads and see if that helps a little bit it might take the temperature down slightly less but I don't think you'll gain more performance but there you have it I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.